and this is your Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve second square y divided by dx plus 2x tan y equals to x cube solution given differential equation Second square y divided by dx plus 2x tan y equals to x cube. So this equation is not in the form of linear equation. It is neither linear nor Bernoulli's. Right? So we will reduce this equation to linear form by making some substitution. Okay? So let sine, sorry, tan y be some u. Okay. Let tan y equals to u. Now differentiate with respect to x. So here we are going to use chain rule. du by dx equals to c it involves function of y so we we'll get a differential dy in between now let's find derivative of u with respect to y since u equals to tan y differentiate on both sides with respect to y you'll get derivative of u with respect to y equals to Derivative of tan y with respect to y is secant square y. Okay. Then derivative of this with respect to x will be du by dx equals to replace du by dy. That is derivative of u with respect to y secant square y into dy by dx. Okay, so now we are going to replace the first term secant square y into dy by dx by du by dx and tan y can be replaced by u. So the above equation will be changed to y and x. Okay, we'll simply write the above equation in terms of u and x, not y, u and x. Okay, now we'll get du by dx plus 2x into u equals to x cube, right? Which is linear in u, right? Here u is an, sorry, u is a dependent variable and x is an independent variable. We know that the standard form of linear equation in u Or u and x, I can say, is du by dx plus p into u equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants. So by comparing these two, we can say that we have reduced the given equation in linear form, right? Again, by comparing these two, we'll get P and Q, where P equals to 2x and Q equals to x cube. Here P is in x and also Q is in x, right? These two does not involve any other variable other than x. So we call P and Q as functions of x. Alone. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So the general solution obtained by this equation will be the general solution to the given equation. We know that the integrating factor of this equation is given by e power integral p, differential dx and general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to integral q into 
integrating factor into dx plus c right so now we'll find the integrating factor we are having p equals to 2x and q equals to x cube now we are going to find integrating factor this is given by e power integral p dx is equals to e power integral 4p 2x into dx here 2 is a constant so we'll write it outside the integral is equals to e power 2 into integral x dx is x square by 2, 2 gets cancelled. Finally, you will get e power x square. So, here our integrating factor is e power x square. We will find the general solution to the given equation using this formula. The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor e power x square equals to integral q x cube into integrating factor e power x square into dx plus c. Now, let x square be some t. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x dy dx of x square equals to dy dx of t. From this, we'll get derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x equals to dt by dx. From this, you'll get 2x dx equals to dt. Okay. Also, or x dx equals to 1 by 2 into dt. Simply take this to 2. RHS, then you'll get x dx equals to 1 by 2 into dt. Now, you can write everything in terms of t. Okay? We'll split x cube as x square into x. And remaining will be as it is. Now, just write this as x square into e power x square into x dx plus c. Now, we can replace x dx by 1 by 2 dt and x squared by t, then you'll get t, e power t into x dx is 1 by 2 into dt plus integral constant c. Now we are having, write this constant outside the integral, you'll get 1 by 2 integral t into e power t dt plus c. So we know that integral x e power x into dx can be solved using integration by parts, right? Integration by parts formula. Integral u dv equals to u v minus integral v du, right? Since you are having integrand of the form some polynomial function into trigonometric function, right? So, let's choose the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as d, okay? Let u equals to the polynomial function x and dv equals to e power x dx. See, forget about the actual u, okay? Here, we are just trying to find the formula, okay? So, differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get du by dx equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. From this, you'll get du equals to dx, right? Now, 
integrate on both sides to get v. You will get v equals to t power x. Now you can apply this formula and this becomes equals to u into v for u equals to x into v equals to e power x minus integral v for v equals to e power x into you are having du right for du equals to dx. This equals to x e power x minus integral. Integral e power x is e power x. Now you can take e power x common from the two terms. You get e power x times x minus 1. Right? If integral x e power x into dx equals to e power x times x minus 1, then integral t into e power t dt will be e power t times t minus 1, right? So, this becomes, since integral t e power t dt equals to e power t times t minus 1, so we will not write constants everywhere in the integral, okay? We are having already one constant and that is enough, okay? No need to write everywhere. So this becomes 1 by 2 into e power t into t minus 1 plus c. Now we can replace t since t equals to x square. Then this becomes 1 by 2 into e power x square times x square minus 1 plus c. We are having u into e power x square equals to 1 by 2 into e power x square times x square minus 1 plus c, right? Now we can also replace u since u equals to tan y. Then tan y into e power x square equals to 1 by 2 e power x square into x square minus 1 plus c is a required solution. We are having solution tan y into e power x square equals to 1 by 2 e power x square into x square minus 1 plus c, right? Either you can leave it like this or you can take e power x square to RHS part. And also you can bring this to to LHS. Let's see. Now take the LCM of 2, you will get e power x square into x square minus 1 plus 2c, right? Now bring this 2 to LHS and e power x square to RHS, you will get 2 tan y equals to 1 by e power x square times e power x square into x square minus 1 plus 2c, right? Or you can just write this as One by two times e power x square into x square minus one plus two c for our convenience. Okay, right? Then it will be easy to bring two to LHS and e power x square to RHS. Right? Then you'll get two tan y equals to. Here you're having two terms, right? Multiply each term with one by e power x square, then you get e power x square times x square minus 1 by e power x square plus here you are having 2c since c being arbitrary constant you can write 2c as c then you will get c by e power x square here e power x square gets cancelled and you will get 2 tan y equals to either you can write 2c as it is or you can write 2c as c x square minus 1 Plus, we can write c by e power x square as, simply you can split as c into reciprocal of e power x square. Right? Then you will get 
2 tan y equals to x square minus 1 plus c into reciprocal of e power x square is e power minus x square. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.